dental offices were given the green light to open back up to patients this week, and Governor Holcomb signed the executive order, allowing them to reopen for routine care, only if they have enough personal protective equipment to stay safe. RTV6's Stephanie Wade shows us the extreme precautions one legal doctor, one local doctor, is taking to open her doors to patients once again. I could never have... I could never have imagined this. The pandemic sweeping the world, the virus so contagious, business owners were forced to make tough decisions. Some of the most at risk of infection working outside of a hospital. We are subject to being more exposed because of aerosols and the proximity that we work. Our dentists. I have to admit coming into the office the first time in four and a half weeks, was a little fear provoking. Dr. Katherine Stewart of Advanced Endocare says most dentists she knows shut down their practices the past month, but a few remained open. Her office only saw emergency patients, but the consequences were felt nonetheless. In 35 years of practicing endodontics and in 37 years of dentistry, I never had to lay off anyone. I had to lay off nine staff. Even more worrisome. There are a lot of patients, both in dentistry and medicine, that are not being cared for currently because we put them all on the back burner to care for COVID-19 patients in hospitals. So therefore, there are a lot of people losing teeth right now, cracking teeth, and, and are in pain that have not been seen for five or six weeks. Are you all right? Everything feel okay? <laughs> patients like Mike Palombi. I couldn't eat on the left side of my face mostly. He had his first surgery to fill a root canal before businesses were forced to close. Then everything got pushed back and this, this one would have gotten pushed back too if it wasn't for the fact that the, um, the temporary came out. Now that her doors are open. I care about my patients. I care about my staff. Um, if I didn't feel like I could safely treat them, I would not be treating patients at all. Dr. Stewart says they've changed almost everything about their practice to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, ordering air filters with UV lighting to kill bacteria. I've also ordered over the patient suction units that will actually mitigate the aerosol in the treatment rooms. The staff now wears face shields and 95 respirator masks, surgical gowns even outside of surgery, surgical caps covering their hair, plus she's even providing tennis shoes for her employees and doing laundry in-house so they don't bring anything home to their families. Now when patients are here, they have them call and wait in their cars until they're ready for them to come in. Once they come inside, things look a little different in the waiting room here. They've removed their more permanent sofas and replaced them with these foldable chairs that they can easily wipe down. There's no magazines in here, no coffee offered, and no toys for kids to play with. So it's really interesting to see even a normal dentist office take it that far just for safety. And it's a good thing. Knowing moving forward. We have uh, a lot of people wanting to come in, so I'm, I'm looking forward to a new normal and a new hope. Working for you, Stephanie Wade, RTV6. And some dentists feel it might be too soon to restart routine dental care. The Indiana Dental Hygienists Association sent us a statement saying dental facilities should postpone elective procedures, surgeries, and non-urgent dental visits for the time being. To read their full statement, head over to our website at theindychannel.com or RTV6 app and click on this story.